I don't think so. We put some stuff on Instagram because that uh, for that we need to take a picture later, but yeah. You know, we just have listeners, so we don't film a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the idea of, you know. Yeah. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So Leo, welcome. I'm happy that you are here today. Um, can you introduce yourself briefly for our listeners? Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Natangwe Leo Kapembe, or you can call me Leo. I'm a, an actor, comedian, and entrepreneur. And how did you get the idea to become a comedian in Namibia? <laughs> no, that's quite, it, it's quite weird. I studied acting, acting in, uh, in Cape Town. I was a student there, and obviously when you're studying acting, you're studying every aspect of of the general about art, then from there, your skills and your uh, determine you whether you you fit in the comedy or you fit in the more serious drama. I never really thought of becoming a comedian or I always wanted to be an actor. And then my lecturer advised me that I should follow the comedy, the comedy side of things. So, and then I end up seeing some people performing stand up. I said, man, I I've just found the calling for it, yeah. And how did you find your way to Namibia then? Um, eventually, uh, I was based in, uh, in, in in Cape Town. I've decided to come back home. I'm, I'm Namibian. So after living so many years away, I felt I was, I was disconnecting from Namibia. I didn't know the culture anymore. I was like a stranger. Then I decided that I need to come. I need to come back home so that I can uh, add my roots again back to Namibia. Okay, that's that's really interesting. Um, how is the comedian um, part in Namibia? Is there a huge community? Is it a small thing? I, I, there's no there's no community at all. I think. Let me just say, there's some people that do it here and there, but it's very small and let me just say that it doesn't exist at all so it's but that's why it's up to us for us to be able to create to be part of the of the community and to create this community until we become good here yeah so that doesn't sound really easy to do to be like the first step to build a community for comedian art in Namibia and um where do you get your ideas or your inspiration when you do your shows? I get it basically from just life, being seeing people, looking, listening to news, uh, just uh, observational. Like you find humor in everything. <laughs> I think that's the thing about being 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 a comic. And uh, I mean, life in general. It comes to you. It, it's not something that you say, oh, let me do. It just, you'll be walking around, then you're like, oh, you start finding ideas, or the ideas, they just come to you. And so that's why it's important to have platform, because sometimes you have this idea that you need to let it out, and there's no platform to let it out. So, yeah. So do you have maybe a small example of your work for us today? <laughs> If you can be so spontaneous. <laughs> oh, like 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 a comment to to, to say to a, a joke. Yeah. Oh. Like something you're doing on stage. Yeah, like um, like it's always better to to to, to do to say a joke on um on what do you call it on stage because that's with human and interaction uh, instead of just telling jokes. I'm not the comedian that that tells joke I'm the one that always be on stage and uh, exploring with audiences and talking to audiences and it's what sets your beat. Yeah, but I do have a joke, you know. Can you tell it? <laughs> yeah, uh, um, yeah, I can tell a joke. Um, I always have a, 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 a joke um, about there was a, a gentleman who was walking on the, on the pavement. And this gentleman, older, older gentleman, nothing he's seen is 50, 50, going to his 60s. And then he was walking on the pavement, and next to him there was a construction. 
and construction workers and, and they were just busy building and everything. So AC was working. One of the uh, a small boys just spoke to him and said he must stop. And he stopped immediately. And as he stopped immediately, he just saw uh, um, a big rock went through in front of him, just fell near or uh, near his feet. Then the gentleman started thinking like, oh my God, if I did not listen to this voice, this voice, I would have been dead already, you know? Then he decided that, okay, um, he started asking the voice, the small voice, I said, who are you? You know, then this small voice uh, answered, I'm your guardian angel. And then the gentleman asked the small voice, he said, okay, um, so where were you that they have got married? <laughs> That's a little bit mean. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <Dead>. <laughs> yeah. So, um, if any one of our listeners heard that and thought that was funny, I like it, I like how you talk, how you tell your stories, where can they see you if they're interested in you and your shows and what you're doing? Yeah, uh, we have an annual comedy and music every Sunday at, um, at Rabbit Hall. Rabbit Hall. Yeah, in town. And you are always the only comedian who's um, doing the shows there. Are you different? We are not with different type of comedians. Yeah, but this one we 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 find it is a comedy and music. This as well live musician, mm -hmm. and as well as comedians, different type of comedians every week. Okay. Yeah. But you are there every Sunday, or yeah, I'm there every Sunday. <laughs> and so it's important when our listeners will come. <laughs> yeah, no. you are always there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, yeah, our last question we always ask our uh, guests is, do you have a secret tip in Namibia to go to see something? Like your secret tip in Namibia? A secret tip. Tip. You know, like something people can do, see, whatever. Like something special for you in Namibia. Uh, for me, I think the, the, the most amazing things about Namibia is the sunset. And then, and then the sunrise. That is always amazing. If you can see the sunset, go to the mountains and see the sunset, that's for me is one of the most amazing uh, tip. And as for the evening and the outside area, especially in the evening, yeah. That sounds lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I knew the sun, yeah, the sun rising or when it's going down with the sundowner. Yes. A lot of people drinking to that. <laughs> yeah. It's it's beautiful and 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 then the air about Namibia night at night is always cool and it's not hot, it's not cold, it's not windy, it's not it's absolutely perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, before we end our interview, I wanted to ask you, um, is, are there some last words, things you want to say to our listeners, maybe about your job, maybe about Namibia? Yeah. Um, not, uh, I don't have really um, um, last words. The last word that I can, uh, can give your listeners to keep on tuning in, to keep on listening, yeah, and to keep on um, supporting the Namibian art. It's, it's, it's really, really, really necessary and it's, uh, we cannot do without without it, without them, so, yeah. Thank you to be here today, Neil. It's a pleasure.